my Thursday night stream. Um, I hope that you guys, well, first of all, I hope you can hear me. <laughs> okay, you can. Um, <laughs> hi. Um, I hope that you are having a wonderful Thursday so far. I want to say hi to Karina Becker, who I saw in the chat. Hello. I hope that um, you're having a good day, Karina. Uh, Karina Becker is the English voice of Paimon. So everybody say hi to Karina in the chat. Uh, also, in case anyone doesn't know Karina, Karina uses uh, they, them pronouns. So please refer to Karina correctly. Um, hello. So today we are here to do a super chill um, teapot stream. I'm super duper excited. Oh, okay. I had to move uh, Catherine the whole thing I was I, we had to move um for anyone who is wondering I do have tea look I made tea for the stream it's really hot so I can't drink it yet but everybody get your tea we're gonna be doing a nice chill teapot moment here and um yeah I'm super duper excited this is gonna be really fun um and since we're doing a chill stream let's kind of start it out how we start out our chill streams and let me know how you guys are doing let's do a little check-in how is everybody I made my friend gave me this tea for my birthday it's called big heart teas big heart tea company and this flavor is like a rose flavored tea it is called cup of love i don't can you even see that you can't even there it is cup of love so that's what we've got going on right now uh for anyone who doesn't know who i am hi my name is sarah miller cruz i'm the english voice of lumine and genshin impact i also voice angela in trials of mana and caitlin and roxanne in pokemon masters which if you saw on the pokemon masters uh, Twitter today. I meant to retweet it, but I forgot. Um, Caitlin has a, a surprise Halloween spooky season kind of thing happening, so go check that out. Um, let's see. Oh, Karina. Karina says, did I see their Edgemon and British Paimon? I did see the British one, and I meant to comment on, well, I meant to like someone's comment, because somebody commented saying you sounded like, um, uh, like, like, Paimon plus Hermione Granger, and I just loved that idea of like that collaborate, that like mixture of a of a being, uh, Paimon plus Hermione Granger, like because I don't know, I feel like Hermione Granger has a lot of hidden sass, so um, yeah, but I haven't seen the Edgemon one, Karina. I have to ch I have to go check that out. Everybody, go check out Karina's TikToks. Apparently, there is an Edgemon one which I haven't seen, and um, the British. Paimon one which is actually I did see and I thought it was so funny um wow it sounds like everybody's doing really good oh it's Xander's dad's birthday so happy birthday Xander's dad um let's see what else we've got people working um let's see I think that's everyone's kind of just chilling I guess I need to move this camera. What? That didn't happen. <laughs> that was like that the whole time. Um, okay. So, what we're doing today is we're doing the teapot quest. And then, I guess, after the teapot quest, I just have my teapot. <laughs> and then I get to start doing stuff in, in it, I guess. That's kind of how it works. So, I think that's kind of the the plan that we're on. the The journey that we're on. Bilal, happy early birthday. Diamond, I don't want to be recording at that input, but that's the input that chose me because... Because I thought I changed my output to be higher. I don't know. I don't know, you guys. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Diamond, I asked you how to change it. This feels like, I feel like I, I admitted that this might be a problem. <laughs> so, 
It's a hundred percent my fault. But is it also shared fault? Hard to say. I'm not I'm not saying it is, I'm not saying it isn't. I'm just saying everybody needs to look inside them their heart <laughs> and decide what aspect they contributed. You know what I mean? Like I'm not saying <laughs> I'm just, yeah, exactly. I didn't choose the output. The output chose me. Thank you, Archie. That's exactly what I'm trying to say here. Thank you. Thank you. Um, <laughs> Karina, it's not your fault. Karina, let me tell you, it's 100% my fault. Although, you guys, I have a really funny story to tell you. So I'm messaging with my mods after one of my streams because, you know, I, I add my time codes afterwards for you guys. Um... So I'm, ma I'm messaging my mods. I'm like, mods, the streams are so blurry. The streams are so blurry. Why are the streams so blurry? Is this what it looks like on your end and no one's telling me? And they're like, what are you talking about, Sarah? It looks fine. And I'm like, I'm like, no, it's literally, it looks like it's going in and out of focus. It's so blurry. It doesn't make any sense. Like, and then they start, I like, I'm like, this is the video I'm looking at. This is the time code. They start sending me screenshots of their, and they're like, this is, and it looks really good. It looks like normal. And then I send them a screenshot back and mine is like very blurry. And then the mods, <laughs> one of the mods, I don't remember who it might have been. I don't remember who. Uh, they're like, what output are you watching it at? And I was like, huh? What? Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> what? It turns out. I was watching it at the lowest output option, like on my YouTube, on my settings. <laughs> and so that's why it looked so blurry. It was Xander that said that. I was, and then when I put it up to the like highest output, it looked really good. <laughs> I was watching it like, and I was like, oh, that's why it looks so blurry. <laughs> it's at the lowest level. <laughs> it was so Anyway, that's my funny story for the day. Um, okay, so let's get started <laughs> on this um, super chill stream that we're about to have. Navigate. Okay. Okay, so to catch everybody up, Karina, I love you so much. I love you so, 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 so much. Um, to catch everybody up on this stream, do you guys see why there's a perfectly good ramp here? Um, for to catch you guys up, I did start the tea quest, the teapot quest, not on purpose, but on accident when I was doing the We Are Reunited quest and I went to go get food. I accidentally started like because I kept dying. I kept I re I started the quest, and then when I was trying to do the Moon Chase Festival, uh some of the characters were trapped inside the teapot quest and so I had to play through like just a little bit of it so we are doing the teapot quest for the first time but we did start like the first like two scenes already <laughs> okay all right here we go here we go okay Not Crossel. Not our friend Crossel. chill I didn't say there wasn't gonna be a struggle okay it's just gonna be a non-screaming struggle <laughs> okay 
Okay, now I turn the sound on for you guys. I could hear it just fine. I just hadn't unmuted for you guys. I had, I had the output muted, but not for me. <laughs> oh my god, okay. Whew, all right, it's okay. <laughs> Oh, okay. All right. So we're talking about super sketchy crossel. The design of the hairpins that he gave me was quite intricate, so it took me some work to find <laughs> someone who was up to the job. Eventually, I found an older jewelsmith who made them exactly according to his specifications. This order was on hold for a very long time, and only completed quite recently, which is why I remember it so well. Doesn't seem like there's any evidence to be found here. Miss Inksy, I'd like for you to confirm for me once more. When Mr. Crossell commissioned you to find him a jewel smith, did he or did he not assert that the material he presented to you that this day was so called legal. Smaragdus Jadeite? Yes, I'm sure of it. The hairpins were made using many expensive materials, and the asking price was quite high, so we had to put this transaction on record with the Ministry of Civil Affairs. Mr. Crossell wasn't very familiar with the necessary procedures, so I filed it on his behalf. I yeah. also kept a copy for my own records. See for yourself, the item is called Smaragdus Jadeite Twin Phoenix Pins. The inlaid gemstone is recorded as Smaragdus Jadeite. The document even has the official seal of the ministry on it. Oh. Thank you, Singsy. Now, could you let me borrow this document? Sure, it isn't serving much purpose here anyway. I take it then that there's been some more trouble? Nothing you need to worry about. Yes. Just a minor issue. I'll return your document as soon as I'm done with it. Thanks again. Why is everyone's first reaction always to assume someone or something is in trouble? Must be the nature of legal consultancy. Hmm. I believe we have almost all the evidence we need. We just need to make one last trip. Let's go to Boo Boo Pharmacy to speak with Dr. Baiju. Baiju? The weirdo with the snake around his neck? Come on! What do you want to speak to him for? Because only he can provide an authoritative statement confirming that Smaragdus Jadeite is harmful to the human body. Once we have this final piece of evidence in our hands, we can wrap this case up. Okay. Uh, out of stock, but we have the time to go to Boo Boo Pharmacy! No wow. What a journey this has already been. My mom was like, why are we going to talk to those weirdos? <laughs> do, 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 do. The water's so calm to listen to. <laughs> my, my, to what do I owe the pleasure? Though, I'm afraid that if you're looking for our little Chi-Chi, she's out gathering hers. Aw, Chi-Chi! Oh, And if it isn't Miss Yenfei as well. Now, that's an even rarer honor. What business brings you here, might I inquire? Some charlatans peddling ineffectual medicines again, no doubt? No, no. I'm here this time to ask if you're familiar with Smaragdus Jadeite. Smaragdus Jadeite? Why, yes, there is some information about it included in the sixth commentary on the Seven Mountain Treatises. The Seven Mountain Treatises states that this substance springs forth from stone marrow within the mountains and will bring disaster to any mere mortals who touch it. It is abundant in elemental energy, so if someone without a vision is in contact with it for a prolonged period, best case scenario, they fall ill. Worst case scenario, they'll suffer great changes in personality and their illness will only ever get worse. Aww. <laughs> anyway, I'm sure you didn't come all this way just to chit chat. We did. Knowing actually. you, Yenfei, <laughs> kind of. and given the specific nature of your question, I suppose that you're about to ask me to write an official affidavit attesting to the pharmaceutical peculiarities of Smaragdus Jadeite? That is indeed the case. If you would be so kind, Dr. Baiju. No trouble at all. It's just a single document. Won't take me a moment. I would mention, though, that you are not the only one who's developed a curiosity for Smaragdus Jadeite recently. A Snezhnayan merchant came to ask me about it not long ago. But Was it after Crossel? I gave him my reply, his expression shifted to one of remarkable disappointment. 
I wonder, Miss Yenfei, if your pressing business might be related to this Snezhnayan merchant? Ah, uh, you needn't concern yourself about that, Dr. Baiju. Thank you for penning us that document. I'll make sure to compensate you in due course. You're too kind. Take care now. That Baiju guy is as weird as ever. So now we have to go is back and talk to Frostle? Like, oh no, no, don't climb the walls! Oh no. Something back there. Dr. Oh, Baiju's no. always been like that. Well, we have the evidence we need. Let's go find Mr. Crossel. Let's go find Mr. Crossel. <laughs> Let's go find Mr. Crossel. Mr. Crossel. Do do do. Crossel's kind of shady. I feel personally. On a personal level, I feel like he's <laughs> shady. Miss Yanfei, have you finished your investigation? I trust you will now be in a position to assess the compensation due. Oh. Yes, my investigation is indeed concluded. I can now provide a final figure for the amount payable. Wonderful. Well then, please, could you do the honors, Miss Yanfei? Of course. Ahem, <clears throat> according to the stipulations of the contract. Mr. Crossel. You must pay Mr. Chow ten times the original transaction price in Mora. Oh. Sure. Wait, what? M me pay her? Hey Surely there's been some kind of mistake, Miss Yanfei. Not at all. According to my investigations and the material evidence that we've gathered, the substance claimed to be Smaragdus Jadeite that was inlaid within the Smaragdus Jadeite twin phoenix pins that you rented out to Mr. Chow was, in fact, Smaragdus Nephrite. Now, the contract states very clearly that ten times the price shall be paid should the article not be genuine. Accordingly, you are liable for this sum, which is payable to Mr. Chow in Mora. Hey! Material evidence? Yan what Fei! material evidence? Why, Miss Yanfei, you cannot frame me like this. I spent a huge sum to obtain that Sparagdus Jadeite, and yet you claim that the ore inlaid on the hairpins is somehow fake? I demand to see your evidence. Indeed. Only a testimony from an expert witness involved in the processing of the ore can serve as an authoritative assessment of whether it is genuine. Traveler, please produce the evidence in question. I'm going to show the evidence from the Jade Mystery. This is a processing record from the Jade Mystery, along with stone samples and an affidavit signed by the business owner, Chateau. Seriously? Even the boss there couldn't differentiate between Smaragdus Jadeite and Smaragdus Nephrite. How does this prove anything? In any case, Smaragdus Nephrite is the outer layer of Smaragdus Jadeite. So I had him cut away the Nephrite, he returned the valuable Jadeite core to me, and some Nephrite samples remain in the store. What am I missing exactly? Th that's an unsubstantiated belief. Well, your claim that my ore is fake is just as unsubstantiated. And we Castle, are here to talk about evidence, rude. aren't we? Ugh. Looks like our first piece of evidence didn't convince him at all. Seems like he came prepared. What should we do next? Hard evidence. Something legally binding. We have just the thing. Show him, Traveler. Oh, come I'm on. This one. I meant the backup copy of the document from the Ministry of Civil Affairs. Oh. The one we got from Sinksy of Minxing Jewelry. I'm sorry I chose wrong, okay? Oh my gosh! Yenfei turned on me so fast. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> this document proves that my hairpins <laughs> are the real deal, doesn't it? This is the ministry's seal, after all. It shows that the ore inlaid on the pins is indeed Smaragdus like, Jadeite. No, dummy! The <laughs> second piece of evidence didn't work either. And this guy's getting more belligerent by the second. Hmm. You know, you could be right. Perhaps the hairpins are the real deal after all. Of course I'm right. All the evidence shown supports my story. Well, hang on a moment now, because I do recall one final piece of evidence that we haven't revealed yet. Traveler, would you do the honors? D why are you giving this me shall options? Serve as decisive proof of our case. Why are you giving me options if you have one in mind specifically that you want me to choose? 
What's this? Smaragdus Jade wow. springs forth from stone marrow <laughs> so within the mountains rude. and will bring disaster to any mere mortals who touch it. Sustained contact with Smaragdus Jadeite over a prolonged period yes, will, exactly, in Karina. serious cases, was like, cause a mild malady, while Traveler. in serious cases, the patient Choose may the right suffer one. a dramatic <laughs> change of personality and fall seriously ill. Mr. Crossel, were you aware of these peculiar properties of Smaragdus Jadeite? I... I had no idea. Obviously you had no idea. No idea, you say? Hmm, I had guessed as much. But for you to have rented out such a dangerous item... I'm afraid that this falls outside the scope of my work, but within that of the Ministry of Civil Affairs. However, I'm sure that the Ministry will be relatively lenient, considering that, as you say, you were ignorant of the danger you posed. What? Don't worry, Mr. Crossel. I will make sure that all the evidence presented here will be handed over to the Ministry. I trust that you'll give them your full cooperation in their investigations. What? Wait, wait! I... I knew. Oh, so you knew? Oh, dear, Mr. Crossel. Well, Yenfei is Smaragdus literally Jadeite's having the best time ever. Beforehand, why would you... Huh? No, uh, I... <sighs> the hairpins aren't actually... Aren't actually inlaid with genuine Smaragdus Jadeite? Is that what you were about to say? You do understand, Mr. Crossel, that this means that you will have to pay Ms. Sir Chow ten times the original price in Mora? Mr. Crossel, your answer, please. My client and I are waiting. I... 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 Yamp, he's seriously intimidating right now. It's like she's a different person. Again, that's legal consultancy for you. I admit it. I confess. The ore I had inlaid on those hairpins was... Was Maragdus Nephrite. But I'm a victim in all of this, too. I invested a great deal of time and money into acquiring that small amount of Smaragdus Jadeite in the hopes of turning it into a piece of jewelry that would fetch a fine price. <laughs> Karina! But Karina after says receiving yes, it and Gate carrying Bossing. it around for a few days, I started to feel extreme discomfort. I couldn't sleep a wink or eat a single bite. I... I was in a constant state of agitation, too. I went to Boo Boo Pharmacy to get myself checked out only to discover that this sort of stone cannot be worn as jewelry. But how could I let all that money go to waste? That's why I had another pair of hairpins made from Smaragdus Nephrite, which is almost indistinguishable from Smaragdus Jadeite. I kept the real Smaragdus Jadeite in a specially made box. I daren't touch it again. I was worried that someone would see through it, which is why I only dared to rent them out, not sell them. And then to top it all off, Ji Chiao lost the hairpins after I rented them out to her. So, why did you charge Xi Chao such an ex extor extortionate rental price? That was a hard exactly. word. Exactly! If they weren't the real deal, why'd you make her pay so much? Hmm? I, I didn't want to either, but when I purchased that Smaragdus Jadeite, some of my business partners found out. I knew they'd be watching closely to see how much I could make off it. If word got out that I sold a pair of fake hairpins, then my days in this line of business would be over. All Russell. right, let's cut the appeals phase right there. I fail to see what bearing any of this has on your transaction with my client. According to the contract, you must pay Mr. Chow ten times yes, the original Yen price and more, and that is final. Ten, ten times? Crossel looks like he could faint any second. As for me, according to my contract with Mr. Chow, 20% of that sum will go to me. 20%? That's as much as I spent on that Smaragdus Jadeite. Um, there's no need. It's fine. You don't have to pay me that much, Mora. Even if the Smaragdus Jadeite on those hairpins was fake, I still bear responsibility for losing them. Legally or not, I think I owe some compensation for that. Uh, Ms. Jichou, you... However, Mr. Crossel, since you have no use for that chunk of Smaragdus Jadeite, why don't you give it to me instead? I'll consider us even. Hey! What? But I... All right, then. This cursed rock's brought me enough grief as it is. That's true. Miss Yenfei, I'll turn this Smaragdus Jadeite over to you. I trust that it will suffice as remuneration? Well, um, that's not quite how the rules say this should go. 
But whatever. It'll do. Thanks so much for your help this time, Miss Yunfei. When you have the time, I'll be sure to visit and express my thanks more appropriately. Oh, come on. No need to stand on ceremony. Now, if I may confirm this again, Mr. Chow, have you and Mr. Crossel come to an understanding? Hmm? Well, yes, I believe we have. Well then, that's good. Mr. Crossel, it seems that my client has no further claims against you. Is... is that so? That's good. That's good. Actually, Mr. Crossel, I'd like to talk business for a second, if I may. Oh! I can see from the hairpins you produce that you're very skilled in jewelry design. My family, on the other hand, works in the ore business, and we have a fair stock of fine ores. If we could join forces, your jewelry designs and our choice ores, I think we could do some fine business between us. I, uh, let me think for a moment. Well, that's that. And we've got the Smaragdus Jadeite that Granny wants, too. All's well that ends well, eh? <laughs> yes, though, there were some twists and turns along the way. Exactly. Usually when someone tells us they've lost something, we end up searching all over the place <laughs> for it. But this time, <laughs> true. you managed to solve the problem with just a big stack of documents. <laughs> Even though the solution didn't involve actually finding the hairpins. The right solution depends on your perspective on the problem. The objective of my client, Mr. Chow, was to reduce her liability to pay compensation. So, rather than looking high and low for some hairpins, proving that the rented item was nowhere near worth what the vendor had claimed it to be was the more efficient solution. Can't say I've ever met an adeptus like you before. An adeptus? Speaking of, you took part in that battle, didn't you? In which case, you would have heard what Granny said. Liuai Harbor is now a city ruled by humans. The title of Adeptus means precious little to me compared to my job as a legal advisor. In any case, don't you think that the Liuai Harbor of today needs legal consultancy far more than it needs adeptal powers? Paimon can think of someone who would definitely disagree with your reasoning. I think there's more than just reason involved here, Paimon. Well, since we got what we came for, it's time to pay Granny a visit. I bet she's been on tenterhooks for a while now. Yay! Okay, okay, so now we have to go talk to Madam Ping. Doo -doo -doo, doo -doo -doo, doo -doo -doo. Also, I saw some of you guys were saying that my, my tea mug is very large, and it is true. But do you want to see something funny? So I have a very large tea mug. And then I took this teeny tiny jar and I put peanut butter on the outside and I'm going to give it to Remy as a treat. Not the outside, like, like I put it on the inside of the jar. It's not full of peanut butter, it's just on the, like, inside. So Remy can have it as a treat. <laughs> teeny, teeny, tiny jar. Very large mug. Were you able to find the Smaragdus Jadeite? We were, thanks to Yenfei. Good, good. Then we have all the materials we need. Well, if we're all set, Granny, I'll get going now. Got a ton of clients waiting for me back at the office. Oh, you. All right, then. Go see to your business. Granny should be able to handle the rest. I'm off, then. Bye! Oh, yes, Traveler. Make sure you don't lose the business card I gave you. I've been looking into the laws of other nations as well. If you should ever bump into any trouble with the law, come find me directly. Regulars get discounts, too. Come now, child. Are you leaving or are you not? <laughs> if you have no wish to leave, perhaps you'd like to help me clean my teapot, hmm? <laughs> I'm leaving. I'm leaving! <sighs> that child. Goodness knows where she learned to be so rambunctious. Her father was hardly so riotous or fond of talking nonsense back in the day when he stood beside Rex Lapis. 
a truly unique adeptus. Ah, <sighs> indeed she is. Liu has changed, and the adepti must also learn to change. Yan Fei might be overly garrulous, but she is also the most intimately acquainted with the city among us all. Ah, uh, Liu is not the same place I once knew. Um, Grammy? All right then. Let us speak of this no more. Back on topic. I believe that I still owe you a little gift. Oh, Paimon's so excited! How is it made? And how long does it take? <laughs> <laughs> it is but a single teapot. It shan't take long at all. Just wait here for a moment. Okay. Ooh! <laughs> there we go. This serenity pot is all yours now. I got my serenity Hold pot! It if you were to drop it, oh, goodness, who knows what might happen. Take these blueprints with you as well. You'll need them if you wish to make your teapot a little more lively inside. Thanks, Granny. Wait a minute, Granny. How exactly are we supposed to use this teapot? Oh, you needn't worry about that. I've already arranged for a certain little helper to await you within this teapot. <gasps> she will explain everything you need to know about it. Is it Tubby? Yay! This is a peaceful neighborhood. Oh. Oh. what I want. Oh, I don't know. Is there a right or a wrong answer? Oh, no. You guys. You guys. Decision making is not my skill set. Okay, I kind of want to do floating abode or emerald peak. Oh, okay, okay. That's pretty. Ooh, that's very pretty. Ooh. Kind of like this one. If I want to change it later, can I change it later? Or am I stuck with whatever I get? Okay, I kind of feel like we already have the Emerald Peak because we already are in Lia and there's a bunch of I like bunch of mountains that look just like this. So I kind of am leaning towards a bode. Because again, like I said, there's we already have a bunch of these. Ooh, that's pretty. Hmm. Okay, I think I'm gonna do a bode. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna do a bode because because it reminds me of the one time that I had to go fight um in the teapot for or i had to go get the like the like light or whatever for zhang Li. 
Um, and I died a lot. So I just feel like, I just feel like I owe it to myself, um, to give this a try. The bell! <laughs> I was like, the light! I don't know. I just made that up. <laughs> I just made that up. Um. Okay, I'm gonna do the adeptal abode, I think. Also, Karina, if you are here and want to help me decorate slash farm for my um for my teapot, you're welcome to join. I just didn't know if you were busy or not. Um, if you want to join Karina, you can, but also no pressure <laughs> if you don't want to. Um, okay. Okay. Well, speaking of dogs, Karina says, I'm just going to put dogs in it. Not a bad choice. Um, I'm going to give Remy his tiny little jar of peanut butter. It's not full. It's like just along the like edges. I don't want anyone to think I'm giving him like a full jar of. Come here, Remy. Remy. Oh, do you want peanut butter? Come here. Come here. Oh no. He's so lazy. He's absolutely so lazy. That's so funny. Um. Okay, I think I'm gonna um do the adaptable boat. I don't know. I feel like this is reminding me of when I had to go searching for a bunch of random stuff. Okay, I'll bring it to him. I'll bring it to him. Here you go. You guys, the funniest thing is that I gave him um, peanut butter in like a, there's these things called Kongs. Um, and it's like a, it's like a rubber like dog thing that you put peanut butter inside of. And he got peanut butter all in one of his ears because his ears are so floppy. I was like, oh no. <laughs> oh. Um, no, Karina, that's fine. We, you can just chit chat if you want, but also no pressure. You're welcome if you want to be here. You are also welcome to just chill in the chat. Um, oh, Karina's already in my thing. Okay, hold on. SW. Okay. Karina. Hi. Hi. Welcome. So the best thing to do in your teapot is just to put a whole bunch of dogs in it. As as I should in all of my life. Um, yeah. Okay. I think I'm going to do the adeptal abode. Is that a really bad choice? No. I, I, Sarah, you don't have to explain yourself. You choose whatever you want. I chose the mountain one because I really like mountains. That's it. That was that was it. That was my that was my thinking behind it. I think I just like the <laughs> and clouds. Also, you can you can change it later on too. Okay. L okay. Like like eventually, all of them will be open for you. Okay. Perfect. You just have to actually like play around in your teapot, which I don't because all I did with my teapot is put dogs in it, and then I was like, okay, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> which is hilarious because if anyone. <laughs> <laughs> Remy just dropped the jar on the floor. Remy was letting you know he was like, that he was, he was like, excuse me, um, you're putting all, all the dogs in that depot. He's like, first of all, I'm the only dog. Whoa, this is so exciting. This is so exciting. Okay, okay. Um, wow, this teapot seems even bigger inside than Madame Pink's. There's even a great big house in the middle. Is that Tubby? Yeah. I'm so excited. <gasps> That's a new one. Hello, hello. I'm you gonna have say, a golden wheel? Come uh, back here. Go dig a burrow to live in for now, I guess. Hey, there's a perfectly good house <laughs> right over there. Why don't 
Traveler was really like, go find a hole to live in, Paimon. Yeah. Um, which, you know, if that's what Paimon wants to do with her right. life. We're not judging. We're not judging. We're judging a little bit. <laughs> I mean, I judge Paimon all the time. But that's not over where she chooses to live. That's usually over the fact that she's like, oh my gosh. That was so tiring! And I'm like, you didn't do anything. You literally did nothing. Although, you, you know literally what? literally did nothing. To be fair, though, I feel that way a lot about myself. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be like, wow, it's so... It's only 12.30. Man. Maybe I, I should... Hard. I, I should take a nap in the middle of the day, but I didn't do anything. But I'm still tired! <laughs> oh, boy. Oh my gosh, this is that's so cute. that's Excuse me a lot of the time as well. Thanks. But um, I Thanks. at least have a. Well, it was and funny. Okay, long, me. long time ago. You know, Chris Faella, the main director on Genshin. Chris Faella, um, aka Chris Faella. <laughs> um, wait, hold. On. <laughs> Do you call him Faella? I called. Chris I used to call him Faella too. Faella for like three months. Like. <laughs> I was on stream with him. I was on his stream. Like, even Eddie just said he never corrects us because Eddie even worked with him on a video game, never corrected him. Zulu's even agreeing. Yeah, no. Never was, corrected us. I was on I, his stream and he never corrected me. He came on my stream, he never corrected me. I think Christy was the one that was like, um, hey, uh, by the way, you're, you know you're saying his name wrong, right? And I was like, <laughs> what? And she was like, it's Faella, so. It's not uh, Faella. And, and then you feel so bad because you're like, like, holy oh, crap, no. am I, have I just been the worst person? Did he, well, because like, I, I fully told Chris, I was like, why the heck would you not tell me? And of course, Chris is such a laid back dude. He's like, yeah. well, because it doesn't matter. I'm like, yes, it does, Chris. It does. It I work with you. Does I'm, I'm sitting there looking like a dick in front of the clients. Like, 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 yeah, I'm sure all of the clients are just thinking, is, is Karina just like mispronouncing his name on purpose? What's going on? It's so bad. And I told, I actually told him in a session, um, like recently, because this happened, I, the realization happened like a couple weeks ago. Yeah. And then I, oh no. And I was like, I was like, hey, so Chris, did you know, um, that I've been saying your name wrong in every single one of my streams up until a couple weeks ago? And he was like, Wait, really? And I was like, Chris, I said it on your stream. No, he, he, was like, he is oh, like yeah. so oblivious to it because he's like, he's like just so used to like not correcting people about it. He does not care. And like, <laughs> I care. I care that I get your name wrong because I don't want to appear like I'm disrespecting you on purpose or something. Right. I call you like, you're not only my director, you're also right. like a friend of mine. Right. Dude. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Correct me. It. I was like, I, I do kind of understand, though, because, like, with my name, I, I guess I'm just used to people already asking how to how to say my name anyway, because my name is German, and German is weird. Um, Which, uh, you know, I don't blame anybody for, because uh, English is a Germanic language, and yeah. um, so if you want to blame English for being a terrible language, you blame the Germans. Um... <laughs> And that's Fair. because English is a Germanic language. So the reason why English sucks is because Germany. Because <laughs> Germany. <laughs> and I say that as a German. Um, but yeah, my name looks weird as heck. And, and so people, yeah. like, they usually get it very wrong to the point where it's funny to me. Or, like, I'm just like, you know. Well, uh, whatever. that's the thing is, like, for me... Okay, so I had a friend whose name was in, in like, I mean, she's still my friend, um, but in, we are not in school anymore together, so I never hear anyone call her name. Um, but at the time, they would always say, like, a her name's Anna, and they would call her Anna, and I would correct, I would be like, oh, it's Anna. Like, I would be the yeah. one correcting. And um, I, I would always be like, why, correct, like, cor it's your name, correct that. Yeah, and correct she was kind of like, yeah, like, whatever, if they get it wrong, they get it wrong. I'm like, ah! No, it's your name. They should get it right. Well, and, and like, I do understand because I have a lot of also friends with very beautiful names that are not um, yeah. uh, classically Eurocentric names. And, um, yeah, and like, like, Chris like I tell 
his is Italian. That's a that's a Eurocentric name. Oh my gosh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but not not if it's pronounced Faella, then that's not. I don't know where that would be from. <laughs> <laughs> Which is why I, you know you know that would actually be Spain. Oh well, that, never that's mind. that's a very Spanish like. See, at least uh, like uh, like Eddie Eddie is like I thought he was Latino like me, and it turns out he was Italian. That's <laughs> like yeah, you're yeah, wrong. He's got the olive skin. He does have olive skin. You are okay, right. He's fair. like I thought he was mixed was like me. He is not. <laughs> I was very wrong in his oh, name because that's why he I'm called him Faya Faya yeah. because he was like, oh, he's Latino. Or, uh, or okay. Hispanic. Okay, okay. You know? So, I'm originally That's... from Texas. When I see a double L... <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a almost... A, I would oh, I don't want to say it's a Y sound, what? because it's not... That's a very... That's a very, um... Watered-down version of how white, uh, white people would describe that sound yeah. in Spanish. But, but when but, I see a double L, I'm not like, I should say those it, it, L's as a I hard L. Rhymed, I thought it rhymed with paella. Which is also spelled <laughs> similarly. Okay, okay. I accept this, yes. And I was like, I think, uh, I honest to God, because yeah, he has that olive skin. I was like, oh, he might be like part Latino or, you know, Spaniard. Cool. Yeah. Also, I'm so totally sorry wrong. if anyone can hear <laughs> Remy licking the inside of this jar and pushing it on the ground and it's making so much But noise. yeah, I, I have tons of friends with so like, with non-Eurocentric names and, and they will, they will be like, uh, just call me this, just call me like Katie or something. And I'm like, no, make me get it right. Right. Make me get it right. Because, because if I, it like, I, I don't like the idea that you have to whiten your name for yeah. me. That's not I usually fair. I usually I, tell people like in my stream like especially because you know just because it's an online name, name doesn't mean it's any less important but I'm always like if I said it wrong mm -hmm. write it out for me phonetically because I when sometimes people do that thing where it's like it sounds like and then they and that for some reason doesn't work for me like saying like oh it mm. sounds like this word I still sometimes get it wrong because I I don't I'm just like kind of a visual learner so yeah <laughs> like i need you to spell it out phonetically um that's not really true like if i'm in in general but especially because it's an online name and i'm reading it if i don't mm -hmm. if i don't get the phonetic spelling like when i read it again in the future the phonetic spelling will come into my mind versus if someone just like says it sounds like then i'm like i don't know yeah um Oh my god, this dog is loving it. Okay, wait, so let's... Okay, so, wait. oh, you're right. So I was working with Chris um, Fiella on a different project at the time because this was for I, the Somnium Files. And, um, uh, and that was the game that I worked on with him before Genshin. Um, I didn't, I didn't know you guys worked on that together. Yeah, uh, th like, it's funny because, like, a lot of the I, the Somnium Files, uh, fans, um, uh, even said, like, uh, <laughs> um, they were, they were like, that's weird, like, almost the whole cast of I, the Somnium Files is in this game of Genshin, and, uh, I was like, yeah, that's because the director is in this, is working on oh, this Oh, that's game. so funny. I, um, I never made that connection, even. Yeah, he, he, ba like, when the casting first went out, he, he was like, of course, give it to all these other people that are not, were not in I, because, like, a lot of other people are in it, too. But, like, me, Zach, Allegra, Erica Harlicker, um, Jackie, uh, of, like, all of us, huh? Oh, Sean Chiplock, all of us are in I, the Zomni Files. So it was just kind of like, oh, yeah, thanks. Thanks, Chris, for throwing us a bone. Aww. Um, I love that. Um, uh, but, um, oh, God, where was I going with this story to begin with? I, I forgot. It's supposed to be called again. It'll come it to you. It had something to do with us working on that game. And then we got sidetracked on his name. Shoot. That was my fault. I distracted us. It's okay. I also just get oh, super sidetracked Tommy. anyway. But I, I'm, it's I not. If I didn't Tommy. remember it, it's not important. Tommy. Or I will remember it later. Perfect. <laughs> that's, how, that's how I approach things too. Yep. Because I'm like, oh, gosh, it's gonna take. I, I'm gonna. I'm gonna message you at one in the morning. With the, oh my god, it was this. <laughs> I I so look forward to that because I do that to people all the time. Yep. Um, I'm like, I'm gonna remember it. I'm gonna wake up in a, like a whole sweat. 
and be like, oh my god, I remember it now. Um, I do I, that that's to Eddie me. all the time. That's me all the time. Okay, wait, or so Eddie. Tubby says, oh, you can call me Tubby. And then I say, the traveler says a line that's kind of rude. Um, that says, <laughs> <laughs> you certainly look the part, which is a rude statement. So you're the little helper, <laughs> yep. Madam Pingman. So, just... Traveler needs to learn not Ping? to comment on people's bodies. Oh, that's really you rude. Must mean <laughs> <jerk. Ping>. Yes. <laughs> if I could change that, what I would. <laughs> she told me much. You know, there's sometimes where, because uh, there, there have been a few times where I've also wanted to change certain to lines, but uh, you know, you can only do so much as the actor, and, and like you can tell them, like, hey, maybe, maybe not that, but to like, like, and and this is why, like, you should never really get mad at the actor for lines that are in a game because bottom line is it is down to the director and the client on whether or not lines get changed yes or i mean also way. to be fair for these traveler lines like i see them as i play through because they're not right. actually spoken <laughs> so and, so, and so you can't say anything about that i've like never i'm seeing it for the first time now um yep. Okay, so Lumi says, so what's a teapot spirit exactly? Though it is the Adepti who create realms such as this, they generally do not have the time of day to attend to the banal matter of their maintenance. Thus, we teapot spirits were created to help guard their realms and manage their affairs. You may consider me a butler, if you will. Now, allow me to explain this realm to you. Oh, okay, the realm. Have you blueprints on you? Specifically, blueprints with beautiful rooms, chairs, and the like. As long as you have a blueprint, you can refashion this realm however you please. Blueprints? Oh, that's right! Granny handed us some when she gave us the teapot, didn't she? She Let's did? Out, <laughs> I wasn't paying attention! How am I supposed to know what she handed us? Yes, these are the oh, blueprints yeah, I'm talking about. Oh, yeah, I was completely about. confused Go on. this whole thing. But that's <laughs> like, I don't know. I don't pay attention Just either. I'm not paying attention. Oh, God, I was doing that uh, for yesterday materials. for my stream. I was like, then I was just clicking through all of a sudden, and then I realized the what I was doing. Because, like, I was pressing the button, not teapot. realizing that, oh, my God, I'm wow. in the chat. <gasps> They're telling me important stuff. Uh, what do we do? We could go to inside, couldn't we? I completely don't know, and we're going to wing it explained this to me at some point in the past. He said that even though subspace creation is a product of adeptal power, even <laughs> that has its limits. This world is not a true one, after all. It provides merely a okay. moment of brief respite from the mortal realm, not a means of escaping it entirely. A golden-eyed adeptus? Paimon wonders, who could that be? I hardly remember myself. What's more, I have never seen that Adeptus again since. Oh, um, how very I'm strange. Too. Well, let's not dwell on that. Have a look around. Best you get accustomed to this realm. Um, if by the way, there are some people like that ask, take their teapots so seriously, and like, good for those people because I am not one of those people. My I, it's, but okay, has... okay, but nobody knows why that is a shocking statement because no one else has been in your Animal Crossing world, and I have, so okay, I can but tell Animal you Crossing that is, something is shocking. I've taken seriously since I was like 12. So, okay, that's Animal fair. Crossing, that's fair. Animal Crossing is a whole different, like, like if you put Animal Crossing in front of me, sorry, not sorry, my island, my, my village, my whatever is going to be amazing, and I will make it that way, and I will 100% that game no matter what. Um, I have a question. Yeah. Am I farming inside of the teapot? No. No, you actually farm outside. So basically, um, you can go up to like a lot of the um, uh, trees and stuff that you used to not be able to cut down. And you won't be able to cut them down, but as you hit them, you will get like supplies from them. And different trees give you different types of supplies. Oh, this is and exactly like bushes. Animal Crossing. And rocks. Yes, exactly. Yeah, it's very much like Animal Crossing. Which, see, that's why I can't, I can't do my teapot because You're I like, put I already all have... my energy in Animal Crossing. I'm like, I already put all my eggs into that basket of like when it comes to 
Um, uh, just world decoration. Thank you, Eddie. Okay, so um, yeah. I'm okay. So if I'm here on this thing, do I build all my things on this thing, or can I build them over here too? On like I can build you anywhere. Eventually, get like another area to the teapot or something. It's I haven't. Oh, when you get more points, Eddie says. But, like, this one has, like, a bridge that takes me... Right, so if you if you try to go on that bridge, you won't get very far. Oh, really? Yeah. Because you, you have to get teapot points. To... That's rude. <laughs> to unlock it. That's so rude. You can't give me a whole teapot and then lock parts of it away. I mean, how else are you gonna build it up? Oh! Dude, oh not... no! Everything's getting dark! Go back! Lumine! Go back! The world was getting dark. It's scary. Um, okay, so like, what do I do right now? Like, should I try to build something or should I leave and go get wood? Uh, you can try to build your first thing. I believe she gave you some supplies? Okay. okay. Um... I guess I'll make a courtyard. I did also make it my teapot because the one good thing about your teapot is you can actually like m put like pl plots of dirt and plant plants in them. So like because I I want to make my Yoimiya insanely awesome. Um, I put a whole bunch of I planted a whole bunch of um neku weed. Is that what it's called? Naku weed. Thank you. Um, in in my plots of dirt and then they grow while um. Um, so that way, like, you know, you've got more plants to pick from, and you can harvest them and stuff. So if you have, if you have, like, a character that needs, um, violet grass, which is hard to farm, you can plant violet grass in that plots, in the plots of dirt. I'm, like, so confused right now because I'm clicking on things in here and nothing is happening. <laughs> um, also fair. I got confused with that, too. Um, I'm still confused on how to make stuff sometimes. Oh, wait, because it says no furnishings. Right, you have to go and build them first. And I believe you built them with Tubby? Oh, I can place yeah. this. Oh, it's a liar! Yeah! You have that at least. I don't want to place that right now. I don't know where I want that to go. Main building. Oh, I can place a main building! Oh yeah, that comes that comes with. So no, that, I yeah, can't. Can I can't see because my screen is blocked. But it looks like maybe I can't. What? Remember how I can't see everything because of my overlay? <laughs> oh right, we have to fix that. Do you have two screens that you stream with, or just one? That's so interesting. Um, and so you have just one. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> I would we... say okay. I have one, but it's a big like screen. That. I'm sure it's a big screen, Sarah, but you need two. Hmm. That's that's a really fun piece of information. So so it makes things a whole lot easier because that way you don't have to literally play through your overlay. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Where do I find these blueprints? Um, buy them from Tubby. Oh, oh. Mm hmm. Um, I'm gonna say, oh, uh, what's up? Oh, you're gonna give me a gift. Hooray, a gift. How nice of Tubby. Okay. Okay. Oh, a realm dispatch. Okay. Oh. oh, this is how I can invite people. Oh, yeah. So, um, oh, uh, so I actually have a friend. Um, they, so I don't know if you, uh, have seen his work. He made, he made my Paimon crown and, like, also all of the visions that, like, I get for a lot of the, um, uh, giveaways that I do. I, I love um, your, he's... I love your Paimon crown. Yeah, uh, his name is Lee Legacy Crafting. That's his stuff. I'm gonna totally um, shill his work right now because he's really good at it. Ooh. And, um. What? What? And, uh, so, uh, basically, he made. He made a maze. Maybe 
you are not used to the Amazed, place at like, the out moment, of what? But like, out of, like, walls and stuff. And, and it was so cool. Creation, and I got to do it. it. And like he, 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 is, yeah, he, he makes mazes in his teapots and has people try them out. I can't even figure out how to get a blueprint, so I'm, like, so amazed. Oh, okay, trust rank. Create furnishing. Realm Depot. Is it create furnishing? Uh, yes. Realm Depot, you can buy... That's where you can buy the... Uh... Uh, b -b -b blueprints. Oh, I can either make a profitable fruit stand or fragrant brilliance. I'm gonna buy something. I go into this little if house? You ever have any questions okay, yeah. You should be able to. Enter the mansion. <laughs> Claire just super chatted and said, Hello, yeah. Lumine and Edgemon stream. <laughs> Hope you're okay, good. Look, my one is just not emergency food. Uh, the joke's not funny anymore. I don't even care. <laughs> <laughs> I need to see this video. Fun. <laughs> it's Edgemon now. I, that was what came up on stream yesterday. People were like talking about it. Well, and also because like, uh, uh, it's just funny. I think it's, it's so funny. funny. Wait, so Honestly, my... it, Paimon is not my IP, so I'm not in control of how Paimon sounds, except for what I can do with my voice, obviously. That's how Paimon sounds, though. Um, so within the confines of what I can do, right? But the thing is, is that if it was up to me, Paimon would be a lot snarkier all the time. <laughs> and also, uh, probably be more closer to Edgemon. Whoa, so this house is basically completely empty and I'm supposed to fill it with things. Yes, you can make tables and chairs and stuff. Oh, okay, let's make some tables. Let's make a table. You know what, let's start with that. That's what I'll try to buy. But I don't understand. Tubby. Hello, Tubby. Maybe you are not used to. Yes, yes. Okay. Realm Depot. That's right. Solar Pass Runner, you are the person that came up with the idea of Edgemon. You did. Oh, I can make a hedge. You definitely deserve that credit. In fact, if you really want to, like, uh,. You have my permission to throw that flex everywhere you want. Hey, quick question. Uh, insufficient materials, what does that mean? Uh, it means you need more materials of that type. Um, like the coins? Uh, or so like wood? The, yeah, the coins it looks like. You need more of the coins. I'm so confused. How do I get coins? Uh, you... Oh gosh, I don't remember anything because all I did was put dogs in there and then I was like, okay, I'm done. Frick. Uh, it's okay, I just learned how to make. Oh. Oh! Oh! Okay, wait. What's this? Oh. I need fabric. And that comes from the real world. Yes. Red dye. Oh, I can make a bunch of red dye. Okay, I'm gonna make a bunch of red dye. I'm gonna make 50 red dye. Well, that seems like maybe a lot. <laughs> Just gonna do less. I'll do five. <laughs> okay, create. Confirm. Did you grab this car already, Eddie? Okay, yellow dye. Oh no. No, wait, that's not what I meant to do. This is a very, okay. Oh. Yeah, I think you did. I'm 
managed to do 10. I feel like I'm maybe stabbing in the dark here. Maybe. I, I don't remember. Okay. Okay, we'll do like a lot. I'm gonna do more of everything. I don't know. What would Ty Paimon's adult voice sound like? Well, um, considering that I am currently an adult and I naturally sound like this as an adult, probably somewhere around here. <laughs> I was gonna say, I was gonna say, why would they It'll ask probably that? just be this. <laughs> I know it's super underwhelming, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> you know. <laughs> like, don't they know what you sound like? Hey, you know, I, I understand the thought process of it just being like, my wonder, and then and then forgetting, oh right, Karina is an adult, and that's actually what they sound like. That's like so I, I totally get like why somebody would still be like, oh, mm-hmm. Because I would be I would also say something like that. I I would be the one to be like, huh, I wonder what uh, like this role that Allegra Clark would have if they weren't sexy mommy character. Oh right, they would just be Allegra's regular voice. Right. right. Yes, exactly. Um <laughs> You know? Okay, so this is being made. Oh, that's R2 to get there. Oh, okay, I'm making a lantern of fragrant brilliance. <laughs> yeah, I think we have to continue with the main story. I don't really understand. Okay, let's look at Trust Reek. I think that's how you get more coins is through the Trust Reek? I have 104 there? coins. I don't know how I made them. Oh, oh, you can grab those with Square. Oh! Yeah, so that comes over time, I believe. Like, you get coins over time. Oh. Eddie okay. confirms that. What do I do right now to do more in this? Should I just go and um collect <laughs> items and also collect those coins? Um But how do I Oh, every first blueprint, Eddie says, gets you extra coins, apparently. Where are the blueprints? It's from Tubby. I'm just... Oh! I... You know, I, this, this I'm is I'm just so I confused, like, because how do I buy a on. blueprint if I don't have coins? But then also... Oh, no, I do have coins. coins! I do have coins. I just got coins. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. See, I, all of those coins that you got, I spent it all on dogs. I love that though. Like, just get dogs. Best decision ever. Okay, okay. Best okay. decision. Now I just need all the cats, and then I'll be complete. Actually, you know what? Genshin needs to finally put a parrot in the game. Have it be voiced by Zulu. And then Zulu. Can Zulu chirp on command? Uh, kind of? Question mark. I can make it happen. We, Honestly, we can I make probably this work. should just record Zulu anyway, and then be like, "All right, if anybody wants parrot sounds, it's a package, and uh, it costs this amount. You're welcome." I guess I'll get this weird pine table. What's this? What's a vial of a? Oh! No way! I already have ten. A fragrant cedar. Okay, I guess I'm gonna get some things for outside. Wow, I didn't know how many decisions there would be. Ooh, should I get the red Tianheng red maple? Or get, the, get whatever you Or want, the peculiar man. knotwood tree. Ooh, Again, I'm gonna I'm get not, the golden knotwood. Do it. Okay. Okay, let's leave. Okay. Now I feel like I if can place... If you ever have any questions about the realm within, you may ask me. Thank you, Tubby. We love you. Oh, I went invisible. Okay. Well, that's not what I meant to do. Ooh! Oh my gosh. Oh, I 
think I have two rocks in my teapot, too. I'm gonna put it here. No, I'm gonna put it... Nice. Yeah, I'm gonna put it here. Oh, there's like a little... Oh. I'm gonna put it here. tree I just planted! Yeah! You did it! <laughs> what does Zulu eat on a daily basis? Zulu has these pellets that are specifically made for parrots. Um, they're Harrison's bird feed. And then um, also fruits and veggies. And then for treats, specifically for training, um, we give her uh, safflower seeds. But only for trading, because if you feed birds too many seeds, they could develop um, fatty liver disease, and that is incurable. It, you can you can definitely oh. work around fatty liver disease, but um, it's definitely not ideal for your bird. Oh no, I was I was admiring my tree, and then <laughs> and then I was getting sad about bird livers. <laughs> Protects the bird livers. Maybe okay, okay, you're okay. not used to the place at the moment. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. Now I understand how this works. Oh. Aw, oh, man. Four per hour. Oh, I... I guess I... <laughs> I guess I got everything I could get. Well, now if you, you ever can go have and, any um, questions about uh uh get some some supplies. From I'll just Okay, I should leave to go get some supplies <laughs> from the world. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Bye. How do I leave? Leave. Um, yeah, so it's actually quite funny because a lot of people like to give birds a lot of seeds because they think that birds eat mostly seeds in the wild, and that's actually not true. Um, birds mostly eat fruits and veggies in the wild. Um, and of course, also, uh, I have my parrot fully flighted, so you have less of a chance of getting your, bir your bird developing fatty liver disease when your bird is fully flighted. Um... And in my humble opinion, sorry not sorry, I do think it is cruel to own a bird and not have it be fully flighted. Um, unless it's for a medical purpose. Uh, like, if your bird is blind, obviously you need it to not fly because it could fly into stuff. You know, so for medical purposes, that is the only time I approve of clipping your bird's wings. Um, because Zulu's wings were clipped when we first got her and of course now she like went through a molt and her wings grew back and I had to teach her how to fly because she never knew how to fly before and um thing is is that like when your bird doesn't know how to fly it can develop so many other problems like it can actually cause muscle atrophy it can cause fatty liver it could be a contributing factor to fatty liver disease especially if you feed a lot of seeds um sorry this became like parrot learning central my bad sarah um i'm i'm like super confused about what's happening here in my in my teapot so honestly i feel like you know, everything you're saying is more informative than what i'm currently doing anyway i mean fair so watch sarah play games and listen to me talk about parrots um, i literally am trapped in this teapot i don't even know how to play. but also your your bird can actually develop a lot of psychological issues from not flying and I, people i think people don't like realize that they can become overly attached to you and my bird is very much overly attached to both me and eddie because um it like i adopted my bird of course uh we were not its first owners but because she like when we were first teaching her how to fly even when she knew how to fly she was still biting us to communicate because she forgot that she could just fly like um uh anytime that she wanted food she would bite me instead of flying to her cage where she could easily get food 
And I know that a lot of people will sit there and argue, well, I don't want my bird to fly away. First of all, with proper training, I can open the door, front door wide open and I know Zulu won't leave. Because I have good recall training. Recall training is a thing that's not just for dogs. You should absolutely teach any dog that. Um, but it's also for parrots. Um, Zulu comes as long as she knows I have seeds. And also, because Zulu, um, parrots are very dedicated to their owners. Once you are, and if you treat them right and treat them well, they are usually, they, they, they don't go very far away from the flock. You're part of the flock. If you ever have um, any questions. So even if your bird were to fly away, if you have good recall training, your bird should call, um, come back pretty easily. Um. And yeah, Maybe as I said, I, not... I can open the front door wide open, and I know my bird will not fly away. Um, t and that's just based on good recall training. Um, so I feel like... like... Okay, okay, it says I can't even make anything for another 13 hours. Oh boy, you can't make anything? That sounds weird. No, I can't because... Oh, because more like I can't make more things for my for my um I don't even know how else to gain more coins. I'm um, so unhelpful right now. Uh I <laughs> You know what? You um, should uh definitely um Mods, try what to do I do? <laughs> mods, go to the bot chat. Am I supposed to Yes, mods, please help because I am also. Am I supposed uh, to leave? Should I leave? I am, I am dumb. I, I am not. Mods, should, should I, should I just leave and get materials? Mods, go to mod chat. We can have a we can have a moment. <laughs> not about it. Oh. Do, do, do. Okay, okay, okay. Loxiel is saying that the teapot just takes time. As this is a chill stream, um, I'm just gonna take a moment. We're just gonna pass on some wisdom. The good things in life take time, so give yourself patience. Mm -hmm. And give everyone around you patience. Patience for yourself and others. I mean, you still haven't even made it to Inazuma. You can, you can go further in the story and see if you can make it there. Cause we uh, are I, not I, don't, ready. I don't know about you, but uh, I have some really good choice lines in the Inazuma quest. Interesting. Um, so I am not emotionally prepared to attempt to try to get to Inazuma. <laughs> I've heard you gotta that get there someday, Sarah. I know. I just like I heard it's really hard, and so no, I I disagree with those people that said it was really hard. Okay, well, or... my mods told me that my mods told me that oh, the We Are United quest isn't that hard, and then I failed the challenge for the Abyss Herald. I mean, that is also fair. And it took me but... five tries to kill the Ruined Hunter. <laughs> but also, you you have to try to succeed. Oh, Xander says there's something yeah. behind my webcam. All right, we'll, we'll make this go away for a second. I don't see anything there, Xander. I don't see anything. That's true, Loxiel. That is Loxiel says we believed in her. That's it. It was coming from a really good place. And sometimes you have to die a few times before you get it right. Yeah. Um, that stream, which I had already done one of the chapters of We Are United, took three hours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you know what? It's it's only gonna be longer if you don't attempt it. Mm, no, I hear you, definitely for sure. Um, <laughs> uh, probably today we're just gonna um maybe farm, I guess. That's also fair. Um, oh, in the furniture creation. Things. Okay, I'll make my webcam go away. What, what does that, that mean? The cart. What does that mean with the 10 at the top, Xander? Now it's your turn to shine. Tell tell me what this means. Oh, I have 10. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I can, I can, I know what this means. I can make my furniture instantly be done. Oh, just, right. Just 10 times. Right. It's like, yo, fast, fast building. Okay. 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 Mm. 
multi-arched Mondstadt building. Here's the thing. Part of me is like, I should make a building. And then the other part of me is like, I should not make a building. I don't even have anything for my first building, you know? I mean, fair. I think I made one building and I don't even use it. And I put one table inside the build big building. Okay. So, choice teapot is what I'm saying is that I have. I That's honestly kind of want to see it now. <laughs> it's so empty. I don't even have the other areas open because that's how little I spend in my teapot. <laughs> Um, my, uh, like, people were like, oh, Karina's probably gonna make the most insane teapot. And I'm like, I just put dogs in it. Like, <laughs> mm. Mm, okay, okay, okay. Oh, only, you know what? Because only your main building can be decorated, apparently. According to Loxia, one of my mods. Oh, good to know. See, I didn't even know that. So that's not even on you, you know? I, I, I honestly didn't even know that. Okay, let's go place this somewhere. This is exciting. It's kind of like any question. It's kind of like Animal Crossing a little bit. Yeah. It's definitely it's definitely an Animal Crossing vibe for sure. Where are Maybe all these blueprints going? Useful. Every time I walk away from Tubby, I get more blueprints, but I'm Oh, <laughs> uh they should be going into your inventory. Correct me if I'm wrong, people, mods. Um I believe they're in your inventory and just like recipes if you click on them that means you learn them. Question mark. If you ever have any questions. Okay, let's see. I do have to admit something um, to you. I ate so many flaming hot Cheetos today. Um, <laughs> and I'm not that proud is of it. Not what I was expecting. Um, I mean, I'm eating pizza right now. I'm not so. proud of it. And honestly, probably my body is not proud of it either. Um, I can't eat flaming hot Cheetos anymore. You know what? It makes me sad. My Probably body would agree. Stupid. My body would agree as well. Um, like my that's one of the like people are like, oh, can you like not eat certain foods because you have Crohn's? Yeah, flaming hot Cheetos, and I'm really sad about it. Um, yeah, no, I'll, I mean I don't have Crohn's, um, but my body still actively rejects them. Um, <laughs> Fair. And I still eat them. <laughs> Same as the amount of candy I eat, you know. Um, my body's like, no, thank you. Uh, why don't I we have, eat a meal? I have a question because you're from Texas, so you probably have had this before. But I just tried it. I just tried. Um, so it was, it was, it was this year that I finally got to try uh, tahine on um, like fruit, like watermelon okay, and okay. tomatoes and stuff. And um, and then Eddie, Eddie actually like went to a vendor and got um fruit with uh tahine and chamoy and oh my god it's so good it's I, so good um, have you tried that before i've never had that <gasps> eddie uh, you have somebody else that you need to show yeah he's down so we have to show you boba and we have to show you fruit with chamoy and tahine well, this is very exciting. This um, whole experience of set up. Oh, how do I change it? But no, I'm down. Well, first we have to. We I'm, have to definitely do Boba. First we have to do make Boba. A YouTube video. I'm, I'm making a whole ass YouTube video about it. <laughs> oh, Loxia says my real. body actively rejects cheese, but I still eat it like there's no tomorrow. There is nothing. Okay, I feel like I feel like as just like a person with like m like no dietary restrictions in terms of like intolerance mm -hmm. i'm like i like cheese i feel like nobody loves cheese more cheese. than people who are lactose intolerant i mean that's just because they're not cheese though. like dairy like i feel yeah. like nobody loves dairy as much as people like my friend um in college one of my roommates had uh lactose intolerance and like every every few days she would be like pizza and i would be like don't you have lactose intolerance and she would be like yeah and and i'm not gonna and? not live my life and i'm like no but like doesn't that mean you shouldn't eat it and she's like first of all stop telling me how to live my don't life don't tell me how to live my life like i will live my life the way i want to I'm like that's fair wait so I feel like I'm is, so glad that I can still have dairy. Is it? Am I weird for one for? 
Oh, rotate. Oh, okay. I was like, why is <gasps> nothing what? rotating here? That's new. Oh, but it's okay. Sucks. Never mind. Okay, how do I put it there? I'm not happy about it. Huh? Oh, it. Oh. I hate it. <laughs> I want to take it back! <laughs> you can move it! I can't. It won't let me. Oh my goodness. <laughs> or else it will let me, and I just don't know how. No, that's... <laughs> Loxiel says, you always want what you can't have. Sometimes I eat more cheese than I ought to, and it's just a bad time. <laughs> Beautiful. I feel like it's no, just a bad time is like, is like the most understatement of... Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh my gosh. First of all, I already got it. Dairy? <gasps> Dairy Queen? Okay, I haven't even Dairy thought of Dairy Queen! My mom. Okay. When it would be like on the weekend and like late enough that it's like we should be going to bed, my mom would be like, she she would be like, should we go get dip cones? <laughs> Dude, and blizzards all the time. We would get in the car. We only ever got dip cones. And my mom mm -hmm. is not like a person that... I feel like of my family, I'm the one with the biggest sweet tooth. Yeah. And so... Um, That's me and my family. My mom, my mom saying that is like more surprising, you know? Yeah. Oh, wait. I can put people in here? Yeah. Oh, that's also how you can gain friendship with them. A really nice that's a really nice feature well who should i put in there uh who do you want to become friends with super fast should i put someone who's on my team does that help me yeah should i put well, i just feel like dilu doesn't deserve it um <laughs> <laughs> you know what i respect you more every day and <laughs> i just um, feel like i don't know you. what he did to deserve being in my teapot so for right now, I'll put Eula. Or should I put Barbara? <laughs> Eula. Definitely Eula. Okay. I just... Do I just place her and she stays there forever? In that one location? Wait, where am I going? Oh god, place, did I go place. around there? What? No. Place. Maximum number of companions invited. I invite. Oh, I invite her, and then she can choose whether or not to come. <gasps> there she is. Hey, Yula. Oh, it's you. What is it? You can talk to her. She has different I'm just, lines. I'm gonna say, um, how do you like it here? Huh? What kind of question is that? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought I was being I'm polite. I'm certainly not someone who's good at handing out compliments. <laughs> oh. Don't you know she's all about being super, super, uh, uh, like, uppity and stuff. I'm literally so sorry. Okay, I'm gonna say, I just want to know your feelings. <sighs> Pointless. Okay, Even all right, Yula! Neither good nor bad. <laughs> there you go. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna just oh, say... Oh god, uh, Eula actually <laughs> reminds me of one of my ex-girlfriends. I feel like all... I feel like... This entire stream, different characters have just been really sassy to me for no reason. Yenfei was like, when I uh, made one of the uh, options, Yenfei was like, Why would you choose that one? <laughs> right? I said one with legal... But I was like, oh... Oh my gosh, Yenfei, I'm uh, so no, sorry. No, I think, I think that's why, like, like people were trying to tell me that Eula's a great character, though, and I was like, I don't know, there's something I don't like about Eula. I finally realized, oh, it's because she reminds me of one of my ex-girlfriends. We didn't work out for a reason. That's like, a, <laughs> that's a big downer for why you wouldn't want, like, that's, that's a good explanation like, for why I'm, you wouldn't I'm want that. I'm sure, I'm sure she's a much better character than I think. I'm just biased because I dated someone like her. Well, in my realm, um, or in my to that, uh, Eula has a fish sword, so maybe, does, I don't well, know if that, that makes her infinitely better at I that. I don't know if that, yeah, I wasn't I'm sure, sure if that would 
would have liked anything. my ex girlfriend a lot more if she had a fish sword. <laughs> Ooh, I would. I feel like everyone's status would ri would rise. Yeah, if they had, if a, they fish had a fish sword. I'm just gonna say, uh, you Instantly clearly had better. a gentle expression hey, before. Have you been watching me while I'm not looking? <laughs> She's so it. aggressive. How did I not notice? <laughs> She's so aggressive. Anyway, vengeance will be mine. Vengeance will be mine. Okay, bye. See, that's another problem. Eula is aggressive, and I'm I'm gonna be honest, I am also aggressive. You can't have two aggressive people. You're like, there's literally only room for there's one. There's only room for one, and it's me. Like Also, <laughs> um, oh my gosh, that's so funny. Um, It is a character flaw, I'm not gonna deny that, but I'm also not doing anything to fix it. Like, it's okay, I feel like, <laughs> I mean, I feel like Eula probably um, deserves to be sassy to me, and I should probably be nicer to Deluxe too because Deluxe my sacrifice. So um, I hey, literally he send has the him in. Job of saving Lumia. Yeah, like I send him in first to die. So I probably should bring him into my teapot at some time, just at some point, just to like, just to like let him know that. He's but see, but see, that's a lie. Like I was about to say, like to let him know that he matters more than just being my sacrifice. But that is his role. Like he is the sacrifice. So I don't want him to like, I don't want him to like be confused about his purpose. <laughs> right. You need to put him in his place. Right. I just want him to know what he's here for, and that is to be the sacrifice. So, um, <laughs> as long as you we're know, all aware. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. D. Luke is a straight white male, and sometimes straight white men need to be put in their place. <laughs> and they didn't even necessarily like, like, like. I, I. Sometimes they didn't even do anything wrong. Sometimes. And I'm gonna um, not lie to you. I, I feel like I am randomly placing things in here, and that this is not a good idea. <laughs> I'm not sure. I feel like they did something wrong. <laughs> And he's like, I'm pretty sure they did something And he's like, wrong. I disagree. <laughs> uh, straight away men just did everything. <laughs> and he's like, I've never disagreed with anything more. Oh, I have an indoor set. Okay, well, can I go upstairs? What are we supposed to do here? We rode the... Oh, I think I see it now. Okay, I think I see it. Can I go upstairs and place things? Okay, actually, that bookshelf that I placed is growing on me. I thought I hated it, but now it's growing on me. Oh, see? You, you, it wins. Sometimes you just gotta trust your instincts. Never. <laughs> <laughs> Not me. It couldn't be me. <laughs> uh, I feel like this is actually the wrong place to put a table. Where should this table go? Okay, the table can go in here. Oh no, animals! <laughs> oh, see, that's very um. Okay, I need everybody to know um something about me. When I moved into the current apartment that I lived in, that I live in right now, when I was moving, I measured before I moved in. I measured all of the walls, <laughs> and mm -hmm. I put them in this floor plan app. Okay. And I measured all of my all of my furniture. Yeah. And I added the furniture to the floor plan app with the correct dimensions. Right. And I completely planned out where everything was going to be. That sounds like you were smart. <laughs> I don't see Before the I moved in, I had multiple floor plan options that I like sent to my sister to help her to help me choose. Again, that just sounds like you were smart. <laughs> I don't see the problem here. <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> Save changes. Look at that table. Wow. This is great. I feel really good about this so far. Is everyone enjoying this chill teapot stream? I am, but I might be biased. Um, well, I mean, I enjoy any stream you're on, so I'm also having... <laughs> well, okay, so that's the funniest part, is my sister is an interior designer. Your sister is? Oh, wow. <laughs> so uh, that's why I sent it to her. I was like, which of these should I choose? <laughs> and then she was like, 
I I made like six options and then she was like, uh, why didn't you do it like this? And she sent the screenshot of the floor plan that I had made back to me mm -hmm. with dr like drawn over it where how I should have like like flipped the couch from 90 degrees. <laughs> I mean, that's called it. using your resources. My brother's a pilot. I I ask him for um, discounts on flights. So. I love that. Yeah, 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 exactly. Use your resources. Use it's the tools using... in your toolbox. That's what my mom always right. says. Right, and and so like, am I am I privileged that I have a brother that is a pilot? Absolutely, I am. And of course, I'm gonna use that privilege. Right. And also, my dad was a pilot, and also my grandfather was a pilot. <laughs> I love that though. I love that. I three generations of I one of my tools in my toolbox is that my mom is a doctor and so I send her pictures. Like I'll send her like a picture, like a close up of like my eyeball. Like I'll like <laughs> I'll be like, what is yeah. that? And she's like, what? Nothing. That there's not, nothing there. And I'm like, but mm -hmm. do you see how it's like slightly red there? And she's like, literally your eyes turn eyes turn red. <laughs> Sometimes I'd go red, Sarah. She's like, don't, no. But See, I, like... I wish I had a doctor in my family. I have nur I have an, I have a few nurses, but um, they're also Republicans. They didn't really listen to me at first when I was. Oh yikes. Yeah. Um. <laughs> we. <laughs> Not ideal. You know, at least they're vaccinated. <laughs> hey. -oh. Um. Uh. But um. Uh. When I was first complaining about me having like problems, uh, like they. They were like concerned, but th like the level of concern that I wish they were was a lot less than what I like what I was hoping for. Um, because because you know my doctors basically when I first went in, I was uh, mind you when I was first when we were first discovering that something was really wrong. It was very clear that like because like my family did the whole thing and, and nothing against my parents. They did the best that they could, and like honestly, I don't even necessarily blame them for not listening because like when a child says that they're tired and you're like how can you be tired maybe like, you are not just sleeping like a few hours ago your first thought isn't my child is severely sick right you know you just you, think you, they're like you just think like okay well then you need to sleep more at night maybe you're not going to bed at the right time and i was like right. no like i i am going to bed at the right time like i i don't I, I like and it was it, but but for like I remember my parents would put me into a lot of physical activities like you do with any kid you put them in after after school activities like soccer and I just was like at first I would be fine and then after like maybe 30 minutes I would be dead tired and being like I I can't function anymore like I feel super tired right and stuff because one of the parts of with Crohn's is that you deal with fatigue all the time like today Oh my God, today was terrible for me. I mm -hmm. laid in bed all day today um, and um, and even took a nap on top of it. Um, but like, you know, so my parents at first were like, oh, I like, this isn't really concerning until I started losing weight and I was losing a lot of it and I wasn't working about... out and I wasn't trying, like I was eating and- Right, you weren't trying to lose weight. <laughs> like I wasn't trying to lose weight. It was very, like that was when it, there started to be a concern. And then at school too, I would have moments where I was telling my mom, like I almost passed out today. And she would be like, what? And I was like, yeah, I almost passed out. And I would be in metal shop because this was a junior high. I'd be in metal shop. And so of course you're working with a lot of dangerous items in metal shop. Um, and like, <laughs> I literally was at the lathe, which is, if you don't know what a lathe is, it's like this spinning machine that um, like, let's just say it spins at such a rate that if you were to fall your face on it, your face would be very um not okay that's and so you scary would need a lot of plastic surgery to fix that and even that would possibly not bring you back to where you were before um that's and super scary luckily though my teacher was very good and taught me about the fail safe which is like you know if you ever just in case you guys are gonna faint at this machine there is a footstep you just step on that super quickly and thank god i did because i and thank god i remembered that as a kid because i was like 12 um at this very scary machine and i was like oh my god i'm gonna faint and i stepped on the thing and i passed out right there 
like immediately after I stepped on that safety measure. And when I woke up, I was like surrounded by my friends and and because I woke up, I woke up seconds later. I didn't faint for that long. Um, but yeah, my friends and my teacher was and my friend like uh, one of my friends that was in the class like took me to the nurse and yeah, my my mom at that point was like really scared. <laughs> and my, the first thing that the doctor says when we go to the doctor is, well, they're anorexic. Yeah. And they and the fact that they like, first of all, anorexia is a huge deal. Like. I, I don't like that he said it with just like, oh, they're just anorexic. Like, just anorexic? That's like actually a health issue. Right. And that's not like, why are you just poo-pooing that like it's nothing? That's not okay. Um, so I was kind of offended that he treated anorexia like it was nothing. Right. Um, that is dangerous and people can die from that too. People um, literally, oh, like, isn't it like the number one, like, killer of teenage girls? It's, it's, de I don't know if it's the number one killer. Uh, you probably know more than I do, but I do know that it definitely afflicts a lot of teenage girls, um, and just teenage people in general. Um, so that's nothing to just sit there and be like, right. oh, it's this. To so just be like, oh, it's just that. No big deal. No worries. It's, and it's, NBD. It's a serious health concern. And my mom was like, "No, they're not anorexic because I I I see them eat. I cook for them." Like my mom was a stay-at-home mom. She definitely would have known if I was anorexic. And like she was around me all the time when I was a kid. And and the worst part was though is that they then said, "Well, didn't you say your your child works as an actor?" And my mom was like, yes. And, Where's that going? And they were like, and they were like, so that's probably why they're anorexic. And I was like, <gasps> oh my God. Yeah. Not even listening. Not even listening at all. And, um, and like, yeah, it was, it was bad. Oh my God. Did you just fly off the, <laughs> I just want to see how far I could go. <laughs> okay. Turns out not very far. Not that far. <laughs> um, I but should then, like, I I remember the do like yeah I was just really upset because I was like, <laughs> we're no I'm like fainting and stuff and I am definitely eating and then they then they were like well then they're bulimic and I was like okay you're like you're not even listening to me what I have to say no, wait guys and the thing in is oh yeah keep going um no I was just gonna say we have I'm gonna be streaming for another 15 minutes and I'm gonna make a poll and then you guys could decide what we're gonna do for the last 15 minutes. I, I am biased, but I think you should try to continue on with the story and get to Inazuma, but, you that's, know, that's <laughs> my personal The options opinion. are gonna be... Okay. And you bet your bottom, I'm gonna, I'm gonna vote for it. Uh... <sighs> well, the options are... That wasn't gonna be one of the... <laughs> what? How is that not one of the options? Well, one of the options would be continue making furniture. And placing... Okay. Placing it. The next one is going to be run around and farm yeah, I materials. Yeah, I definitely do the Kazuha quest, but that's Fight? Not, the Kazuha mark. quest is not, is not that bad. Ask your community. Add an option. No, I don't want to add an option. Okay. Why isn't it letting me ask? Guys, I, I, no. I, I you know, I may be biased, Mas! but I think you should just uh, vote in chat. Um, just, just type in chat. Why won't it let me enter? It says create a poll. I created a poll. Oh, this is too long. Oh, okay. that might be why. And fight. There we go. A poll, a poll. We're doing a poll. We're doing a poll. A poll, a poll. We're doing a poll. We're doing a poll. A poll. Uh, oh, hold on, I have to weigh in on this poll that uh, just came up on my uh, desktop here. Um, fight, ca uh, do, do the Kazuha quest. <laughs> Sorry. There, I put in my um, two cents. Um. <laughs> Uh, where does it show me the... Oh, 74% are saying so far. <laughs> um, okay. So it looks like we have to leave. Okay, we're gonna leave.
How do I leave this place? Uh, good question. It's really confusing and I already forgot how. I'm so helpful. Boss. Oh, oh, uh, uh, if you press triangle from here. Oh, when you go into that, when you go into your map or whatever and you press triangle. Okay. I think you do it from there? <gasps> Yay! You did it! Did I really? Did I help? Yeah, well, but my, oh my face God, was is I blocking what's useful? happening here, so... I'm never useful. I'm Paimon. What? How do I... Paimon's never useful. Why can I not select it? <laughs> oh, there we go. Teleport. Yay! Yeah! Okay. I was useful for once! Congrats, guys. You were so is, useful. Is, You're always useful. This is literally useful. groundbreaking. Paimon's never useful, and for once... I'm You're always the most useful. Okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> I feel like between the two of us, sometimes it feels like we have literally one brain cell, though. Oh, yeah, and we're sharing it. Like, we take turns. <laughs> we take turns, but, like, I feel like most of the time it's yours. <laughs> Very much doubt that. Um, I feel like most of the time. It only feels like that on streams because I'm just more <laughs> uh, knowledgeable with video games in general because I played more of them than you did over time. That's true. But no, I feel I'm like. Not You're still a gamer. You've played video games, but I think like these types of video games. Also, I've just been playing Genshin for longer than you I just do, feel like. So. I do feel like when I am playing games, though, any, at all the brain cells are like, bye. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, I don't know how to do that. And people are like, you do know that how to do that. That was me like, playing oh. Prey last week. Oh my god, I cried so much. I can't believe you played I... that. You're so much braver Dude, than me. I'm like, no. Okay, this, this Saturday is going to be worse because it's going to be Phasmophobia. That, I know that game is scarier. I know it's going to be so scary. Phasmophobia is scarier. I've never played it before. I've never even touched it. I'm playing <laughs> it with uh, Jackie Lasher, who's the voice actor of Shang Ling. And I wanted Sarah to join us, but Sarah said no, which is smart. Sarah's uh... see, which is the time where you took that brain cell. And you're I like, like, I'm no. not going to do that. Well, I don't have a PC, so I can't. I mean, also fair. You actually could not play with us. Um, uh, but even if I didn't have a PC, I probably still would have said no. <laughs> I appreciate you being honest, though. I at least appreciate that. And then also, uh, Sophia, who's the voice actor of... Oh, God, what's her character name? Kano? Kana? Uh, the, Nano? the theater mechanicus person. Well, she also announced another character recently. Like, literally oh. today or something. No, oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, she I, she's in Genshin as another character, which I'm so proud of her because she is very <laughs> talented. We're gonna go farm over here because I just feel like these like aren't there Kano Nana. That's the name of the character. Aren't there like w there's like woods over here? I feel like this is better for farming. Good night, Loxio. Thank you so much. Um, everybody, say good night to Loxio, one of my amazing mods. Thank you for being here. Good night. Hey, let's go fight this guy. Bye. <laughs> Oh, that's weird. We're not going to Arizona on Thanksgiving, though, right? We're going to go after or before. So, it's Halloween, or it's the month of Halloween, and I just feel like we really haven't talked about the most important things. Um, um, when you were a child, um, did you, at, after Halloween, when you got all the candy, did you make a pile? Oh, I ate it all in one sitting. You ate it all in one sitting. But did you, <laughs> but did you, um, did you, like, rank them? Like, like, put them in piles? Like, like, put like candy with like candy? Or did you just, like, take handfuls out and oh, them Oh, oh, no, I, I, I absolutely, so I'm autistic, so of course I separated them first. And then also, I only, I didn't eat every single candy because if I, if I didn't like the, like the candy, of course I didn't even try it. Right. Um, like, uh, if I don't, I, I am touch sensitive and it affects my taste buds and if it doesn't feel right, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't happening. Um, I almost said something that could have been misconstrued as sexual. My apologies. <laughs> it's like, it ain't going in my mouth. Oh, wait. Mm. <laughs> Karina, you're like, you caught yourself. 
And I kept it and then told myself and told on myself anyway. Um, <laughs> you said it anyway! You know what? I did that not too long ago on my stream on Twitch where I was like, um, uh, uh, because because it was it was everybody was like oh but you like I was like oh god it's so hard right now and then everybody was like but you can like change the uh, change or um change the world level to go down and I was like yeah but doing that is for quitters and I'm 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 not that oh my god I almost said spitters are for quitters <laughs> oh my gosh Karina Becca Why is that a phrase? I've never heard of that before. Why is that a phrase what? that even You've exists? You've never heard of that phrase before? No! No! Why does that exist? Why do you know that phrase? <laughs> Eddie, Eddie is now shocked that you don't know that phrase. What, Eddie? I don't even know why you're shocked. I feel like I'm the person that never knows anything, so. <laughs> you're so innocent! Uh, I know that phrase because I am a terrible person. That's how I know that phrase. Um, <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, actually, I need slime condensate. So this is good that these guys attacked me. Hello. Wait, why is it not giving me any slimes? <laughs> My but, yeah, it's funny because, like, I catch myself. I try to not say the thing that I we'll don't want to say, and then I tell my, on myself immediately. It's so funny. Uh, I don't know if it's an autistic thing, but I noticed that a lot of autistic people do that. Like, That's I'm so not funny. the only autistic yeah. person that says, ooh, I almost said a really bad thing. Here's exactly what I almost said. Here's what I was and almost like, going to say. it aloud then? I'm like, I don't know. I just like, feel like... Hey. I think it has to do with, like, because a lot of autistic people are very much, like, um, black and white when it comes to morals. And for me, one of that is honesty. I'm like, I want to be honest with people. So even if I don't say it out loud, I'm still honest with the fact that I'm a terrible person who almost said this. That's so funny. Um, um, also, the debate, somebody was like, what's the candy corn debate? The candy corn debate is that some, I like candy corn. some people mistakenly think that candy corn tastes bad. And that's wrong. That's on them. Because it actually tastes very good. And if they're wrong, they should just admit that they're wrong. I, I also specifically think that the pumpkin candy corns are better than the regular candy corns. I can't remember if I've had those. They're, they're basically just candy corn that are in pumpkin shape. I don't know why. Everybody says that it's the exact same ingredients, but they do taste better. Okay, but people say that about um, M&M's too, and that's wrong. Yeah! People will no. say like, oh my gosh, all the M&M's taste that. No, they do not. They literally don't. So. They, different, the different colors have different tastes. I, don't, I can't explain it. I'll they never understand do. why someone's like, oh yeah, like I don't like candy corn. I'm like, oh, so you don't like sugar? What's wrong with you? <laughs> Remember when Hu Tao was like, I don't like dessert. Literally, I was offended. I felt, I felt very personally, personally attacked. Brianna's by like not really into like a lot of sweets. Yeah, either, and so I feel very personally attacked by that opinion. <laughs> I candy and sweets is like I feel like is a part of my personality at this point. <laughs> Honestly, Solar Pass Runner, I think you're on to something. I honestly think that the, like, you know how, like, candy is is flavored um, artificially sometimes, but also, like, is colored artificially. Right. And I feel like the, 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 um, the stuff that they use to color things, uh, they're not supposed to have taste, but they definitely do. I, I truly believe that they do. Yeah. They, I think they, they do, do too. Well, it's the same way that people are like, water doesn't have taste, but it does. Yes, it does. Water so. has taste. Water absolutely yeah, water has taste. taste. So I'm like, anyone who's like, water doesn't have taste, I'm like, and different water bottles taste differently. I'm too. like, have you never had water? Is that why you have that opinion? Because I, I just don't understand how we got there. Um. Oh, mint. Um, it's so not fun. Paimon, it's Edgemon. Get it right? Yeah, yeah. Get it right. <laughs> um, you know what I I'm also yeah, love? Um, okay, so what was the premium candy that you would get on Halloween? Like, what was the candy that had more butter value? Finger. Oh, yeah, I love butter. When I was a kid, it was Butterfinger. For us, it was like that Butterfinger or Kit Kat. Or not Kit Kat, uh, Reese's Pieces. Reese's peanut oh, butter cups, my, not pieces. My brother was obsessed with Reese's. Reese's are good. That, see, I would trade 
like any of the Butterfinger with Reese's with my brother. And or 100 grand, because I also like, I, I like caramel. Caramel a lot. Um, so 100 grand was always good. Yeah, rice and caramel. Here's my thing about Reese's, and I used to really love Reese's, and I, I mean, I love any chocolate, but like, I'm kind of like, ah, I wouldn't, I don't like go out of my way to choose it anymore. Yeah. I don't know why, but for some no, reason, it has a different taste now. It tastes different, we were kids. and I don't and really maybe like it. I grew anymore. up, but like, yeah, I don't, I don't go for Reese's as much anymore either. Hey, quick question: Is anyone um who's watching the stream seeing mm -hmm. this? You also don't have a why, on that. Why is there like an animo slash happening when I use my sword? Is that you know? new? Uh, that doesn't matter. Does anyone else see that? Has it been doing that this whole time, and my resolution was just low <laughs> so i didn't see it <laughs> um but yeah i would definitely like oh also i i am so oh it's I'm a constellation very i'm very autistic so like um not only i would eat all the candy um like that night because of course i did because i love candy yeah. but i would eat every individual pile uh, by itself first, because I like I can't eat a Butterfinger and then a Reese's after. You can't. No, do that. uh, you That's... can't mix palettes. And then, and then go back to a Butterfinger. Are you insane? Absolutely not. Like Absolutely no, not. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm gonna offend a lot of people, but I truly believe that. Like, I it, it weirds me out when people do that. Like they'll like it's one thing if you okay I ate all the Butterfingers, so now I'm gonna eat the Reese's. Okay, that's fine. But like to go, I'm gonna eat a Butterfinger. Now I'm gonna eat a Reese's. Now I'm gonna eat a hundred grand. Like no, what are you doing? What no? Mm, that's not how it works. You're like please stop. Please, I, you're hurting my soul. I don't remember. I don't remember if I used to like eat them all like one at a time, but I don't think my parents would let us like eat all of them that night. Mm. Um, see, my parents would try to make me not eat all of them in one night, but um, I was very sneaky and I didn't. Like them. <laughs> I mean, I support it. Uh, it's, it's I, was, I was the awful kid. I found out where the Christmas presents were hidden. And I always like. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm autistic. I don't like surprises. I don't. I don't. I like knowing when I'm gonna. It's funny. I really like giving gifts as surprises and stuff like that. But even then, I suck at doing that too because, like, you want to know how early Eddie got got his Christmas present? I have early. already no, Eddie. Remember, I have already given you five years worth of Christmas presents. So that that one that I gave you the other day was year six. I am six years in advance for Christmas. See, with Eddie. here's the thing about <laughs> gift giving, and I okay. So I would say my love languages, like for myself, oh my are God. quality time and. Yeah words of affirmation but also but I like, like getting gifts what i get like what i give other people too so gift giving for me is really makes me like very anxious because i'm always afraid it's not going to be a gift that they like do you know what i mean like it like versus like with myself when someone gives me a gift i'm like i'm just happy that somebody thought of me right so i'm not yeah. like judging the gift or being like wow they don't even know See, me but I when i'm giving gifts my anxiety yeah. is like, oh my god, like, do I, I even know like them? <laughs> they, ha yeah. they have to love it, you know? Yeah. That's fair. I feel like maybe I just had an easier time giving gifts to my friends because they're all anime nerds. And so I know exactly. Fair. <laughs> like, totally I, fair. I can, I can literally, like, go on to, uh, I, you know, I, I know that for Jenny Yukari. Okay, give her a Snorlax or any character that she voices or a Snorlax because Snorlax is her favorite Pokemon. I know that for Kaylee, give her something that has to do with donuts. Um, uh, honestly, I could give Kaylee a friggin... Uh, I could make Kaylee a very, very gross-looking yeah. doll made out of, like, yeah. extra fabric that I find around the house, and she will be like, yes, this is my child. Oh, my God, I because love that. Because Kaylee is like, yep, this is my, my gremlin child now. It is mine forever. And, um... And then Eddie is just anything that's edgy or shuff it or edgy because he is sad gamer boy and sad gamer boys, uh, luckily I'm dating one. They're really easy to give presents to. 
<laughs> I love that. See, that's sad the thing. Gamer I, boy, just be I a also, sad gamer boy. He'll never wonder what you have to give them. Like, someone in chat says, like, oh, I try to find something that's, like, meaningful to the person. And the thing is, is that, like, that's... I love to do that, too. But then I'm, like... I don't know. Like, silly gifts are way easier for me. Because then I just, like, overthink, like, meaningful gifts so See, much. I think silly gifts are meaningful. <laughs> Obviously, there are some gifts that are more meaningful than others, but I personally think that if you know your friend's sense of humor and you go with that, that's meaningful. Oh my gosh, but I feel like, yeah, I don't know. There's something about gift giving that I'm always like, oh no, my gift's not good enough. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I always end up being nervous. I, I do fun. understand that because, like, I, I had an ex... They're not my friend anymore, specifically because I was like, I'm trying... I'm bending over backwards <laughs> for like the, the to, to to just make you like me and i'm done right. um um that's not oh, friendship no it's not and this person like i remember this one year i gave i gave them a candle that i had made i learned how to make candles i was a kid, oh i by the love way. that and I, my, I did it with my dad so like i it was it, i learned how to make candles and i made a spongebob candle for them because we both like spongebob and i was like cool awesome sweet um, a few, uh, like a week later was another mutual friend of ours birthday and I gave that friend a, um, a Harry Potter doll. It was Ron Weasley specifically. And the reason why I did that was because the other friend that I gave the candle to, um, I, <laughs> I heard <laughs> that. that in the background. Ron Weasley! <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, uh, but, um, uh, they, uh, like, the friend, the original friend that I gave the candle to already had, um, Harry Potter and Hermione, and I was like, oh, I'll give this to the other person because then, like, they can play together. That's, and, like, I was like, I knew they played with these dolls, I don't necessarily play with these dolls, but I knew that they played with these dolls together. So I bought that one for the other one, but she didn't have any of the Harry Potter dolls. So That's I was such like, a cool. nice gift. Right. And then the first girl got upset because I gave her a candle that I made myself. And the funny thing is, is that the girl that I ended up giving Ron Weasley, because I was like visibly upset. I was like, I, 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 I like, like and, I thought I was giving you a nice I gift. I was giving you a nice gift. Like, I truly thought that you would like something that I personally made for you. I'm sorry. So I do understand that whole anxiety because that did give me anxiety for gift giving for a while. That was awful because I love giving gifts. Um, especially if I make them. Um, which I make gifts all the time. I like to knit and I usually give all of my knitting stuff out because I don't have room in my own password anymore. Oh my god, that's so funny. See, um, the gifts the gift that like I got that um, well, I love all gifts I've ever gotten, but um, a friend of mine gave me, um, do you know, there's like a, it's bar the Bark Box subscription. Like, yes, it's I like love for dogs. And I used to have that when my dog was alive. And I, they gave me that, and there was something about them giving me, they got me like a couple months of the subscription, and I just remember being like, because I had like just gotten Remy at that point. Oh, that's I remember, so sweet. I was like, like, I had plenty of toys and stuff and treats, but it just, like, I don't know, it just meant so much to me that, like, she knew how much Remy meant to me. Yeah. You know what I mean? That, like, getting him a gift is, like, getting him the gift was the same as getting, getting you the, the gift. gift. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that was the same way with my dog. I, I like, if it was my birthday and you gave a gift to my dog, counts. Yeah. Oh, 100%. Absolutely counts. Even oh, yeah. if I, I also celebrated baby's birthday separately anyway, but I'm like, nope, doesn't matter, it still counts. Actually, like if, Remy you, is... if you gave me a gift for my bird, counts. Counts is also giving a no, gift. hundred percent. I also, Remy's gotcha day was yesterday and I didn't do anything. I forgot. I didn't do anything. But I did just give him a, a tiny jar of peanut butter today, so hopefully he knows. Uh, uh, Zulu's adoption day is May 2nd. <laughs> And I remember that we celebrated with a lot of treats. She got Should I try every to fight... one of her favorite treats. Should I try to fight these Fatui as our, like, last hurrah before the stream ends? <laughs> After my yes. last horrible encounter with the Fatui? Do it. Do it. Fight them. Okay. I believe in you. Chris. Why are they so hard to fight? Oh, oh no. Barbara! Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I see oh. No, 
Morbus used where it's Remy with a heart in his mouth. Become a member and then you can use them. Yay! Oh my gosh, that was great. That was fantastic. Okay, I think, I feel like we did a lot today. We opened up the teapot. It looks like I've got yeah. more farming to do to make it look amazing, but we got, we got that done. We did a little bit of farming slash fighting after. I feel like this is a really good stream. And Karina was here, and we got to uh, chat with Karina, so it's uh, the best stream ever. Heck yeah! Whoop, 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 whoop. Um, I wouldn't say it's the best stream ever, but it's pretty good. <laughs> I don't make it the best ever. Like, that's Hashtag you honesty. make it the best. Hashtag honesty. Um, <laughs> Karina was like, Karina was like, I wouldn't call this the best stream ever, but <laughs> it is a stream. <laughs> it's definitely not better because I'm here, that's for oh, sure. Oh, oh, I thought... No, I, I just said it wrong because I'm an awful person. I'm sorry. I definitely worded that wrong. No, but that See? was hilarious. I loved that. I thought you were just being like, I mean, I, I was like, best stream ever. And I thought you were just being like, well. <laughs> no, I was saying that it's not the best because of me. I'm sorry. I'm bad. No, I love it so much. You were like, well, is it though? <laughs> <laughs> amazing. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. Um, okay, so a couple of things that I want to say before we go. I want to say thank you to Karina for coming to hang out and for I... chatting about so many wonderful things. I want to say um, thank you to my mods. That's um, Loxiel and Diamond and Brandon and Raya and Kali and Drew. Thank you guys so much for everything that you do. And then I also want to thank you guys. I want to thank everybody in the chat. Thank you for being here. Thanks for hanging out. Um, I will be posting um, my streaming schedule on my Twitter. So if you like my Genshin streams, keep an eye on my Twitter and or in my server. And you can get updates that way. And then this Saturday, Karina will be doing a spooky Saturday stream on YouTube. YouTube. Yeah, if you want to see me cry, watch me play Phasmophobia. It's going to yes, be great. It'll exactly. be awful for me, but great for you. What time? Uh, 8 p.m. Whoop, whoop. So everybody go watch Karina. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe so that you subscribe. can get notifications. And also because it makes me happy. Um, so Yeah, let's get let's get Sarah up to 50,000. <laughs> subscribe. I think I'm... In, I'm not anywhere close to that but we one day there. we can get there one day um so i do want to just say if we all work together if we all work together exactly um have a great day or night wherever you are make sure to take care of yourself and um since we did this teapot stream drink your tea <laughs> um okay you guys uh, I hope that you're amazing and that you stay amazing and we will see you, um, on the next future streams that we each do. So, hey, yo. follow us on Twitter as well to get updates. Okay, good night oh, slash good day, everybody. Better.